ladies and mostly gentlemen, today we're going to take a look at some of the brand new options for the Draenei that are coming to the game in the Shadowlands pre-patch. But before we get into all of that, guys, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that is my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to check me out streaming the Shadowlands Alpha every single day, I'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm. Right, so we had a brand new build last night, which brought in a ton of brand new options for the Draenei male and the Draenei female, and some of them are really cool, and some of them are a lot of things that people have asked for for a while, so let's just jump straight into it with the Draenei male and take a look at some of these options here. Yeah, there are definitely a lot here, and uh, some hidden options as well, which you might not, uh, might not have seen. So, faces. Currently, there are no new faces, so you still have the 10 same faces that we had before. Um, yeah, to be honest, a lot of the new races haven't had a ton of new face options. The human got some scars, but that's pretty much about it. As for skin colors, there is a couple new options. There's actually three to be exact. You've got this kind of new dark purple look, which looks super mean. Uh, you've got this kind of blue standard Draenei look, which just looks like another shade of Draenei. You know, you've, you've got a ton of those. And a, a kind of a lighter kind of pinky purple one, kind of similar to the Lightforge potentially. Uh, no, like, red Eridar skins. I know there is some NPC skins uh, for the Draenei, but unfortunately they're not activating any, like, big, scary red Eridar skins, as of right now at least. And I don't know if that would make sense lore-wise, but to be honest, does it even matter? As for hairstyles, there is an absolute ton of brand new hairstyles, uh, nine to be exact, which is absolutely insane, all named and all listed right here. So you've got the first one right here, which is Thin Braids. Uh, don't really like the... Five head? Is that what it's? I don't know what the official name of that thing is. Uh, you can't customize that. That does still change uh, depending on the hair, but I guess it kind of matches and uh, and makes it kind of fun, like gives you kind of the final look, I guess. Uh, so this one's called Thin Braids. You can see two braids coming down the side there, long at the back. Uh, not a bad look. As I said, I don't really like that uh, five head looking thing. You've got Chrono Mage. Yeah, not really that unique. Kind of like a crown, I guess that looks kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, just a little ponytail at the back there. Uh, Hanzo. Yep. Hanzo, that is what, a, a, an Overwatch reference? I mean, it's not even a reference, they've literally just called it Hanzo, uh, which is kind of cool. So there you go, you've got a Hanzo hairstyle for the Draenei there. Uh, you've got Ponytail, nice along at the back with a big old braid, uh, using that new graphic style that they're using for a lot of the new hairstyles. Uh, looks really cool, two braids at the front, one at the back. A really cool looking look for that one called Ponytail. Uh, you've got Wild. So this is kind of cool, uh, again using that kind of new fidelity of hair with the, uh, where you can see like every individual strand and it looks a lot better, uh, to be honest. Now one thing that you might have noticed is something has appeared. Horn decoration, yep, so on the spiky boys, the spikier five heads, you can add frickin' horns. Yeah, not all hairstyles have it, as you can see it does disappear with some of them, but the ones with specific horns? Uh, you can add it, and you can add some awesome looking horn styles, which look freaking amazing. What a great feature uh, that is. So yeah, big fan of that. I think that's a, a really cool little extra they've added in there. So this one's called Wild. Uh, the next one is called Fan, and you've got this big fan at the back there, uh, which looks kind of cool. Uh, not customizable, that color. Unfortunately, that is just stuck as purple, but a really cool look nonetheless. The next one is Sideswept, which is kind of similar to one that we've had before, but I do like the hair kind of sweeping over the uh, the horns there, which I think is really cool. Uh, you've got Thick Knot. Yeah, not too, uh, not too great on that one, but it does come with the horn decorations, so you can make that look even cooler with those amazing looking horn decorations. Uh, the next one is called Short. And there you go, you just have a short style, kind of uh, kind of a little bit over the five head there, uh, looking pretty darn unique. Uh, the next one is hair color. Now there is a couple of new hair colors for the Draenei, uh, not really anything too out of this world, uh, pun intended, but uh, yeah, just a couple new hair colors uh, for the Draenei, which look really great, honestly, like, you know, more hair colors the better. Not really too difficult for Blizzard to add new hair colors, honestly, so uh, it is good to see some more colors uh, becoming available for the Draenei. Uh, for facial hair, there are some new options. Now, here's the thing with facial hair. Uh, as of right now in retail, uh, when you do facial hair, it also has the tendrils. Now, the tendrils and facial hair have been separated, as you can see. So you can now have a choice of facial hair and a choice of tendrils. So let's take a look at the facial hair to begin with. Uh, a lot of these same styles that we've had before, but some new ones. Yeah, some new ones. So you have... Chin Curtain. Now this is very similar to obviously the Lightforge Draenei, which do have a couple of different uh, beard options. So you've got this one, Chin Curtain. You've got Beaded, which is really cool, like the beads coming down there. I think that is a really great look, especially from the side there. I do like that a lot. Uh, you've got Braid, which is an awesome looking long bearded style. Love that. I kind of wish I had a moustache though, but uh, you know, what can you do? 
Uh, and then you've got Goatee, and then you've got Ducktail. Woohoo. And uh, so, no massive Velen beard, unfortunately, but some great options nonetheless. Uh, so for tendrils, um, there's not actually a ton of new options, I don't think. Uh, just really the option to customize it and choose which ones you want, which I think is great. Uh, a lot of different styles to use, and uh, you can really make your Draenei look super unique, super different. And uh, yeah, eight total styles of tendrils. You can even have none if you want, but yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool that they have split that up now, giving players a lot more choice uh, in what their Draenei looks like. And finally, for the face, they have headdress. Uh, this is just a little headdress there, sits on top. Uh, not available for all hairstyles, unfortunately, but um, it is pretty much there for a lot of them. Uh, so you can do the horns, you can do the headdress, and you can look pretty darn cool for sure. Uh, so finally, for the males, one option that people have wanted for a long time, tail length. So you can have this little, uh, little chody boy, or you can have a long boy. Yeah, there's two different options of tail there for the male. A few different options for the female. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the male, guys. Some great options there for sure. So let's just jump into the female options now. There are not as many options, unfortunately, for the female as there is the male. But there is some cool options, none the less. So for face, unfortunately, still the same 10 options that we had previously. No customization in regards to that. Uh, for skin color, uh, they do have the three brand new skin colors, which are available, obviously, for the male as well. Which I think is really great. I think they're cool. Um, this one particularly looks a little bit different on the female, actually. I kind of like it. It's a bit more kind of... Uh, kind of dark, gloomy purple. I think that's a, a really great look for sure. For hairstyles, there is actually a lot of new hairstyles, which is actually really cool. A lot of the different races didn't get that many, but the Draenei got kind of a lot. So you have shaved, so you can have a completely bald Draenei, uh, which is kind of actually a really cool look. I kind of like that. Uh, ponytail, again, using that new kind of style of hair, uh, which I think looks really, really cool. Uh, you've got side braid, which is a cute little braid there on the side, which looks, uh, looks all right. Uh, braided ponytail. So yeah, uh, a lot of detail in this. Look at the like, yeah, I don't, you know, the more you look at it, the more detail there is in this hairstyles. They had a whale of a time. You can really tell that the Draenei got a lot of love from the art department. So next we have tied strands. Now, as you can see, there's a little option that's popped up here, and this is hair decoration. Yeah, you can have some chain in your hair as an option. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's not really big, scary horns, but it's braids in your hair. And that is available for some of the hairstyles as well, which is really cool. Uh, this one being a new one right here. Uh, then you've got Donut Bun. Yeah, Donut Bun. Why not? I think that looks pretty cool as well. Uh, high Bun. I actually thought this was already an option, but it's not. It's very similar to another option that we do already have. But nonetheless, uh, great to have more options for sure. For hair color, I believe they are using a lot of the new hair colors that the Draenei males got, which is really good. Uh, we've seen that across the board, pretty much having the males and females having the same skin colors and hairstyles, which of course makes sense, absolutely. Uh, for horn styles, there is a few new horn styles. Not a ton of new horn styles, but there is a few. Uh, you've got this one, which is vaulted, which is two uneven horns, as you can see there at the top. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, you've got forward, which doesn't look that good from the front, but from the side, uh, definitely makes that side profile look a lot cooler on the Draenei female here. Uh, then you've got ram. Yep, some serious ram horns on your Draenei female, really changing the silhouette of your character there, which I think is a just a fantastic look. Uh, and then you've got high, which is just some really tall horns, uh, kind of similar to the other one, but just, yeah, just super high up. Very similar, actually, to the Silvar, the, uh, the race from Arden World. They actually have a very similar uh, horn style there. Uh, moving into tendrils. Yeah, so they do have customizable tendrils. Uh, all you got is thick and thin. So yeah, nothing uh, nothing too breathtaking there. Just literally just, you know, if you want thin ones, if you want fat ones, that's pretty much it. Uh, would have been nice to have some like different options and stuff like that. Maybe that's something that's coming in later. But as of right now, just thick and thin. Uh, you've also got headdress. Yep, headdress. So similar to the male, uh, using that purple stone. Uh, not customizable on the color, unfortunately, but that is a headdress, which is available for all styles. As it doesn't really clash too much with the hair, it is clipping a little bit with some hairstyles as well, as you can see, but it is just another option that you can use. Uh, and finally, tail. So as I said before, there is a few more options for the Draenei female. Uh, six to be exact. So you've got short. You've got short with some uh, some ornaments on it. So you've got a little, uh, little purple uh, gem on there with some chain. Similar chain to what we saw in the hairstyles as well. Uh, you've got medium and then you've got medium with 
yeah, you guessed it, a chain, and then you've got long. So you can have a really long one, and you can have long one with the little style there. So pretty cool, three options basically, uh, short, medium, and long, which is really cool. A lot of customization there, a lot of different options, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. So that's pretty much it, guys. That is all of the options for the Draenei male and for the Draenei female. This has probably been the longest one. There's a lot of brand new options that they're bringing to these new races, which is really cool, but really sad for the people who race change to a Lightforge Draenei, because the real Draenei are really getting some really good options in the Shadowlands pre-patch. So let me know down below what you think of these brand new options. I'm a huge fan of them. I really do like a lot of them. I hope some of the clipping issues do get fixed and I hope they do add some more tendrils for the female. But as of right now, these options are looking super great and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what people can come up with. So before I go, guys, I'd like to give a massive shout out to amazing patrons, YouTube channel members and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I am now streaming on twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to see some live Shadowlands Alpha gameplay, I'm there every single day, finding bugs, doing weird stuff, taking viewer requests as well, which has been super fun. So if you want to check me out streaming the Shadowlands Alpha, twitch.tv slash mrgm. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.